हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ज्ञान विहार स्कूल ऑफ एजुकेशन सुरेश ज्ञान विहार यूनिवर्सिटी आई एम डॉक्टर सोनिया कौर बंसल एंड टुडे इज माय टॉपिक इज इंटरडिसिप्लिनरी अप्रोच इन रिसर्च एंड सब्जेक्ट इज मैथोलॉजी ऑफ एजुकेशनल रिसर्च दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक स्टूडेंट्स टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू आर अ रिसर्च स्कॉलर एज हाउ इंटर डिसिप्लिनरी अप्रोच वर्क in a more better way when you are doing the research so uh, let's understand it and uh, i hope you will understand it more attentively and grasp the concept so today's class learning objective which i have set for you all that you will be able to understand the interdisciplinary approach in research educational uh, research so just understand students what it is what is the concept what is the term interdisciplinary means what what is the interdisciplinary approach how it works in research so we are going to understand all about it so let's have a look on the um, presentation now first of all students we are going to discuss the meaning of interdisciplinary what is the term interdisciplinary see discipline but there is one more thing uh, added to it prefix is added that is inter so what does interdisciplinary studies mean the word interdisciplinary is defined in merriam webster as simply involving two or more academic scientific or artistic discipline so this is how if we are studying a particular discipline one discipline at a time but we are also taking the help of other disciplines also to uh, study more effectively all right students so an interdisciplinary studies degree the does just that it involves covering a broad range of practical and relevant subjects see students when we are talking about relevant subjects so relevant means whatever is relevant to your own study so that's how we are going to discuss so an interdisciplinary study studies degrees does just that it involves covering a broad range of practical and relevant subjects necessary for developing a breadth of understanding of learning and society so in nutshell just understand what is interdisciplinary it is students enrolled in the program select a concentration like any program you have selected arts psychology public administration or organizational leadership as so you have chosen your ma degree for that which allows you to focus on a particular subject and you are not only focusing on your own subject but you are taking help of your relevant subject also so this is called interdisciplinary approach so it is actually indicating to more broader view of your studies so these four concentrations are based on today's most dynamic professional paths and supplement uh, this well rounded educational foundation so this is how uh, i'm explaining you interdisciplinary studies mean what does it mean now let's understand about interdisciplinary approach what is that so i have been always telling you there is a difference between approach method and technique you can see my detailed video on that uh, on youtube channel so interdisciplinary approach approach is something uh, that you are applying to your content how do you see that content so an approach to curriculum integration that uh, generation and understanding of themes and ideas that cut across disciplines and of the connections between different disciplines and their relationship to the real world so this is how it is in establishing an understanding with one subject to other subjects it is also developing an oh, an integration in a very good way between the curriculum of different uh, uh, ideas different themes of the subjects so it normally emphasizes process and meaning rather than product and content by combining contents theories methodologies and perspectives from two or more disciplines so understand students that when we are understanding one subject particularly so it involves some process 
and it will involve some product also on the basis of your understanding your content will be developed in your mind but when you will combine the content and theory and methodology and other important thing from more um, another discipline also so it will enhance its usability and its uh, effectiveness will also be enhanced so that's why interdisciplinary approach is so much uh, in demand nowadays and you must study being a research scholar because when you are studying when you are researching something you don't have to be uh, just be limited to your own area only you have to see other things also you have to see uh, uh, develop that point of interdisciplinary approach because if you are reviewing your own research topic in your own field education field okay fine you will have a good understanding but for more better uh, competency for more effectiveness you have to go to another disciplines also to see the effectiveness also now for example students like uh, if i talk about a uh, simple psychological topic that is related to job burnout or occupational stress so many of you must be doing work upon it if occupational stress is seen in teaching line fine it is your related area and you are working on that but your approach should be also of like that that you are the studying you are reviewing the occupational stress not only in teaching line maybe in medical line maybe in engineering line or any other line or administrative line so this is something that is enhancing your vision that not only in teaching the occupational stress is also found in other uh, areas also so it will give you more understanding about your topic about your variables and you will be able to frame very good objectives and hypothesis based upon them so this is how interdisciplinary approach is working <clears throat> now let's understand what is interdisciplinary research research means students find again to find something again which has not been been found out earlier so you are doing something you are researching something and now we are just asking the definition of discipline so the definition of discipline and discussion of the varieties of interdisciplinary multidisciplinary and transdisciplinary research have occupied much scholarly debate remember students interdisciplinary multidisciplinary and transdisciplinary are all together three different terms don't take them as synonyms okay so although there is not always agreement on these definitions it is clear that areas of research are dynamic they are movable they are not at one place when you find a research area when you select a research area so it is continually emerging melding and transforming with other areas also whatever your area is here in your research maybe you have chosen in education field but it is quite possible that in coming days or in uh, with point of view of some other references it is changing its area so it is being studied in other fields also so what is considered interdisciplinary today might be considered disciplinary tomorrow because when you are combining two disciplines together you are studying two disciplines together maybe if, um, after few days the content you have understood from another discipline with the help of another discipline maybe for uh, better understanding for future generation it will be considered in that discipline only so this is what interdisciplinary research so as a working definition of interdisciplinary research we refer you to the definition set forth in a national academy's report interdisciplinary research is a mode of research students by teams or individuals that integrates information data 
technique tools perspectives concepts and or theories from two or more disciplines or bodies of specialized knowledge to advance fundamental understanding or to solve problems whose solutions are beyond the scope of single discipline or area of research practice so this is how interdisciplinary research is defined so first of all it is a mode of research by done by teams or individuals second thing it integrates it integrates information data technique tool perspective concepts theories from two or another uh, discipline also so specialized knowledge in advanced fundamental understanding or to solve the problems whose situations whose solutions are beyond the scope of single discipline when it is not possible to solve those problems within one discipline then we broad uh, the horizon and we go to another discipline also or the area of research practice so it is always good for uh, students to be active uh, while doing the research because sometimes it is happening that you are not uh, able to understand uh, your concept in uh, one particular area one particular discipline by that time then it would be really a great help if you are finding your solutions uh, with another discipline also so that's how it is working it is a type of mode of research all right students so let's proceed further now what is interdisciplinary research let's understand it in a more elaborate way so for so many people college is as we are often told one of the best and most exciting times of our lives we are we feel best when we are in college in university so we we find that when the children are in school or especially i'm talking about 11thies and 12thies they wait for their schooling to be over and they want to go to college and that's the time that's the most exciting time in the lifetime when people are uh, in college so while this is true for many people college comes with its own set of anxieties also there are many problems also like having to declare a major so not only excitement but anxieties are also there though it is not the case for everybody uh, not surely this is going to happen with everyone deciding on the field of study what you are going to take so when after board exams of 10th standard the student chooses a particular stream in which uh, way to go either arts commerce or science then after 12 this problem is again there with anxieties as what to do next so one field of study uh, has to be chosen during the co college duration and generally beyond can be intimidating and overwhelming thought there are many thoughts related to that so fortunately over the last several decades new approaches to research and academia have emerged to students and that allow for more flexibility such as a interdisciplinary approach so this type of interdisciplinary approach actually avails you more opportunities regarding a particular field of study or research so interdisciplinary research is a type of study or research that draws from two or more disciplines in order to gain a more well developed perspective or discover something new so when we are going to discover something new we are going to search something new which is the basic objective of your research then definitely you have to approach one or another discipline also your subject area is it must be related to science but it might be possible that you are covering some of the affective area of uh, social studies also how your science uh, or experimental research or very technical research is contributing to society how would they feel about it then you will be covering another discipline also so this is something you are doing with interdisciplinary approach 
For example, American studies involves a considerable amount of interdisciplinary research in fields uh, such as sociology, history, anthropology, political science. So these are some of the branches of the subjects that you cannot uh, just separate them entirely. You will involve them when you are doing your research. You cannot separate educational psychology if you are particularly doing your research in education field. Or maybe educational administration, leadership, technology. You cannot just separate that. Other examples of fields that involve interdisciplinary research are women's studies, environmental studies, neuroscience, all of which draw from different disciplines in order to enhance their understandings of particular issues or offer an origin theory or concept. So although interdisciplinary research is very common students within the social sciences and humanities, it is becoming increasingly common in physical sciences as well. So this is how interdisciplinary approach and research is understood. Now students, let's have a look on the concept that how does interdisciplinary research work? How does it happen when you are doing the research? So first of all, it is depending on the subject being researched and what subject you have chosen for doing the research. Interdisciplinary research can either be easily applied or difficult to process. Both things can be possible. So it is dependent on your subject, uh, what kind of subject, what kind of nature of your subject. So for example, a robust project, project on the development of American identity in the 19th century. It would require looking at an American history as well as concepts and theories from sociology, anthropology and political science because it is a robust project on development of American identity, how identity was developed of Americans. So definitely sociology would be covered, anthropology would be covered, how the human being uh, was progressing during the time. Then political science uh, will also be covered. So this is how the res interdisciplinary research work itself. Because something like identity is a fairly complex thing. So how you are going to judge the identity and how you are going to research about it. So there was no way to develop a strong thesis by operating from a single discipline. And if you think that you are just leaving sociology, anthropology, political science away from your research, you will not be able to do that. So in this case, interdisciplinary research was easy to apply because these fields have natural overlap and many things in common. So this is how it is working. For a field like environmental studies, on the other hand, Interdisciplinary research can be a challenge also because it is a physical science, environmental studies may employ quantitative methodologies like surveys which are used to collect large amount of observational or statistical data. So all those students, this is a common in most physical sciences, environmental studies and involves people and their attitudes towards nature which could be understood through a sociological or legal perspectives. So unlike the previous example, this type of research would require going from a physical or life sciences also to a social science, which has a very different way of collecting or analyzing data. So this is how the research, when we are doing the interdisciplinary research, it works in itself. So sometimes it can be very challenging because all the uh, streams cannot be accumulated all the time but when you are employing quantitative methodologies like survey so you can collect a large amount of observational or statistical data by that time so you can just get the data from different uh, streams also 
all right students i hope you have understood this much so let's proceed further then working between physical science and social science can also be a challenge physical science and social science just understand minute difference uh, because the perspectives are often very different we study different content in physical science and different in social science so it is uh, and in some cases it may be conflicting also so physical science is something that is related to uh, different rules gravity rule is also there in physical science but social science is related to history political geography social science so civics also so this is actually maybe contrasting sometime also so for example a scientist that is used to collecting and analyzing soil examples a scientist is collecting soil examples in a lab may find it very challenging to switch to qualitative interviewing because he is experimenting on soils different varieties of soils now he has to experiment with that only it would be a little difficult if he goes towards the qualitative interviewing which which is a co very common in social sciences type of research so also which requires conducting in depth interviews with individuals to gain different perspectives on a specific question or event so understand student this is how it is working so next is now now to be very clear with the interdisciplinary approach or interdisciplinary type of research students i'm going to tell you a little controversial history also about this so how it came into existence and how it developed gradually so we are going to discuss about it so until uh, the industrial revolution education was dominated by religion and classical text we all know that earlier education was uh, given to the higher caste only there were four categories four sections of the society brahman kshatriya vaishya shudra so the higher uh, caste was given the task of education only so this was the task uh, this was the thing before industrial revolution uh, didn't happen and the education was ma majorly dominated by religion in classical text what the our classical text like uh, upanishad and all that they taught us we believe that so they were more about exploring the questions of morality and a higher truth but with the advent of technology when the technology arrived at the end of the 19th century then students education was expected to prepare workers for the rapidly growing industrialization economy so this there was a change so just understand that when uh, in ancient period it, education was mainly dominated by uh, classical context or religion but later on in 19th century when industrial revolution took place so the education was now expected to prepare very skillful workers for rapidly growing industrializing uh, economy in the country so specialized education was in the high demand changing the structure of many colleges and universities across the united states of america and the world around this time disciplines were divided into sub disciplines like chemistry anthropology and many universities emphasized their disciplinary resources and research facilities all right students so i hope you are understanding that around this time disciplines were divided into sub disciplines like uh, psychology was uh, di divided into clinical psychology educational psychology so it was divided into sub disciplines and it was the time when a branch was needed also sub discipline was needed also because whole and soul um study was required to uh, just understand the particular field 
so like chemistry and anthropologies and many universities emphasize their disciplinary resources and research facilities so knowledge transformed from an experience to a product this was actually something controversial about its history so let's see in further not everyone however supported the shift towards specialization at the turn of 20th century because everybody was seeking specialization skillful workers that education would uh, give uh, to the country charles eliot president of harvard university during this educational transition period played a key role in the development of the liberal arts education and in many ways eliot's radical views on education are still relevant today students for example one of his most influential reforms was advocacy for a curriculum based on students interest rather than pre established curriculum so this is the view point of charles siliot president of harvard university he gave during that time to in turn of the 20th century and it is still in process still very important very significant now so charles siliot believed that a student by age of 18 was old enough to select his own courses and pursue his own imagination also so interdisciplinarity abides by the same logic because the child has grown up and he is uh, uh, now old enough to select his own courses and he will pursue his own imagination also so in that case interdisciplinarity abides by the same logic many educators disagreed with eliot from this point of view uh, arguing that schools exist to guide students through the established hierarchy of students that schools are going to um, guide them this is the work of school why do they exist then if the student has to do so much hard work put lots of hard work on his imagination and his uh, old uh, appropriate uh, experiences so many argued um, and this agreed with eliot if students wander around at their own will these educators argued they may leave schools with an incomplete or inconclusive education so he, many of the um, scholars came from this point of view that we cannot leave the students up to their own will okay so now let's have a look on the benefits of interdisciplinary study what is the benefit just have a look on them so first of all student this type of study allows the students to learn by making connections between ideas and concepts across different disciplinary boundaries so when the student is understanding more and more ideas not only in one discipline but in another two or more disciplines then definitely he is increasing his connections more and more and is developing his ideas and concepts across different disciplinary boundaries so it is not just uh, limited to that only so students learning in this way are able to apply the knowledge gained in one discipline to another different discipline as a way to deepen the learning experience so the most effective approach to interdisciplinary study enables students to build their own interdisciplinary pathway by choosing courses which make sense to them all right students for example it is not too difficult to find a theme which crosses over interdisciplinary boundaries in literature so art and history or science and mathematics studying topics uh, thematically is one one way to bring ideas together resulting in more meaningful learning so this can occur by allowing students to choose their own subjects and their learning is deepened when they reflect on the connections between what they are learning in different disciplines 
now students now just understand making connections between different concepts is essential in interdisciplinary study this is the actually gist of this uh, word interdisciplinary that you have to make the connections you cannot be in your own limit in your own discipline's limit you have to be uh, like that there is a lot of to do from another disciplines also so this is how you are going to understand all right students so let's understand that uh, making connections between different concepts is essential in interdisciplinary study and here are some other benefits of studying in this way also so students are highly motivated as they have a vested interest in pursuing topics that are really very interesting to them they find very appropriate and for uh, suitable to their interest so what would happen as a result the content is often rooted in life experiences giving an authentic purpose for the learning and connecting it to it to a real world context so consequently the learning becomes meaningful purposeful and deeper resulting in learning experiences that stay with the student for a lifetime and this is really very really something very uh, good uh, in the point of view of achievements when uh, any type of learning is staying with the student for lifetime so this is how the education is also serving its purpose in its fullest form so students cover topic in more depth because they are considering uh, the many and varied perspectives from which a topic can be explored okay students so critical thinking skills are used and developed as students look across disciplinary boundaries to consider other view points and also begin to compare and contrast concepts across subject areas so students begin to consolidate learning by synthesizing ideas from many perspectives by um, and consider an alternative way of acquiring knowledge to so exploring topics across a range of subject boundaries motivates students to pursue new knowledge in different subject areas so explore topics Uh, in that way that the range of your subject boundaries is uh, actually you are enhancing so it will motivate you researchers to pursue new knowledge in different subject areas also when you are covering with them and when you are doing the research with your um broad view okay so transferable skills of critical thinking synthesis and research are developed and are applicable to future learning experiences so this is how some subjects critical thinking is required and another subjects it is not required we do so much experiments analysis of data in experimental research scientific researches and on the other way we do so much of uh, surveys and type of qualitative research in social sciences research so these are the actually transferable skills which a researcher must possess when the research uh, actually synthesizes the ideas of from different discipline uh, which are being got by the researcher so in in a time period the researcher is definitely to uh, going to apply those skills in future researches also future learning experiences also so transferable skills of critical thinking synthesis and research are developed and are applicable to future learning experiences so interdisciplinary knowledge and application of different disciplines can lead to greater creativity all right students so worthwhile topic of research can fall in the spaces between the traditional disciplines 
so how this is actually making the process for interdisciplinary research that it is creating some gaps also to fulfill that knowledge with the help of another discipline so this is how your uh, research will lead to a greater creativity and a wonderful knowledge and application of your own research when you are covering a little bit of your research to another discipline also so it is always encouraging for a researcher when the researcher is having good value for the data collection or analysis so these spaces actually in between which are actually left by the researcher they fulfill the gap now students let's have a look on the benefits of interdisciplinary study how it is very important and how it is going to benefit you so interdisciplinary programs draw from two or more academic disciplines that work together to create a powerful learning experiences as i have told you interdisciplinary means you are taking help of two or more disciplines to to develop a concept two disciplines are working in together and they are creating a powerful learning experiences also and it is also emphasizing integrative learning how you learn when you integrate one discipline with the another discipline it will also enhance your critical thinking imagination and creative problem solving so through interdisciplinary research studies students discover the value of integrating the study why it is so valuable of various academic disciplines suited to their lifelong interest they also learn creative solutions to some of today's most challenging problems sometimes students it is seen that uh, one discipline is in which we are studying or the scholar or the student is studying is somehow insufficient to find the so solution of a particular problem so in that case we must proceed to another connecting discipline relevant discipline to find out the proper solutions and this will not only uh, lead to the creative solutions for the most challenging problems but it will also uh, enhance the critical thinking and creative problem uh, solving skills among the sc scholars or um, the researchers so become interdisciplinary thinkers who analytically and creatively embrace new ideas they are not afraid of adapting new ideas new thought process because your own discipline what you are studying interestingly is not giving you that much exposure but when you are integrating your own discipline with another discipline then you are just analytically and creatively fo following new ideas and you find it so um, good and your own feeling would be very happy sort of when you um, combine two or more disciplines together in your research work so develop collaboration skills while working with others who have different perspectives so and moreover students are also prepared for graduate and professional study and for careers in new and emerging fields nowadays you cannot say that educational technology is entirely a new field separate field you cannot say educational methodology is entirely a different field you have to combine it with another discipline also so it will actually increase your professionalism as well and you will lead to more and more success also okay students so next is uh, we are proceeding towards the conclusion part that interdisciplinary study allows for synthesis of ideas and the synthesis of characteristics from many disciplines 
so for sure one thing is very clear that you are accumulating ideas from another discipline you are getting that from another discipline and then you are adding it to your own discipline and then you are gaining some beautiful experiences also so at the same time it addresses students individual differences and helps to develop important transferable skills also so whatever the skills are being developed in one, one particular discipline and when you are integrating it with your own then these skills are definitely being transferred and as i told you that with course of time with duration of time your another studied material will be the part of your own discipline then so three important skills these important skills like such critical thinking communication and analysis these are very important and continually developing at all stages of life so educational systems are serving students best if they enable and encourage students to build their own interdisciplinary pathway so this is how educational systems are uh, working best for serving the students because they are enabling and encouraging the students to build their own interdisciplinary pathway because to get maximum benefits from all the discipline must be the education's whole and soul aim so this approach is sure to foster a love of learning students ignite a spark also for enthusiasm and address learning differences for students so it will work really in a wonderful way if you are following all the conclusions now this is the list of references students for your most study purpose and i really believe that you are going to uh, study them and you will be revising well about the interdisciplinary approach now let's have a look on the mcqs which i have prepared for you so uh, just have the mcqs related to interdisciplinary approach as well as in general research related mcqs so what is the main role of research in education option a to upsurge one's social status b to increase one's job prospects c to augment one's personal growth option t to help an applicant in becoming a renowned educationalist so the correct answer is d of course the main aim uh, main role of research in education is to help an applicant in becoming a renowned educationalist the hi the highlighted are the correct answer so second question is related to which of the following features are considered as critical in qualitative research so is considered as critical you have to uh, just take care so option a collecting data with help of standardized tools design sampling with probability sample techniques collecting data with bottom up empirical evidence gathering data with top down schematic evidence so the correct answer is related to a feature which is considered as critical in qualitative research is about option c collecting data with bottom up empirical evidence now next is related to a style of research that draws from two or more academic disciplines is known as what transdisciplinary research interdisciplinary research cross disciplinary research none of the answers are correct so the correct answer is related to a style of research that draws from two or more academic discipline is known as interdisciplinary research next question is which of the following options are the main task of research in modern society so option a to learn new things to keep pace with the advancement in knowledge 
to systematically examine and critically analyze the investigation sources with the objectives correct answer is related to all the a b c answers are correct okay students next question is what is the main aim of interdisciplinary research and the options are following a to oversimplify the problem of research to bring out the holistic approach to research c to create a new trend in research methodology d to reduce the emphasis on a single subject in the research domain so the correct answer is definitely option b is the main aim of interdisciplinary research that is related to to bring out the holistic approach to research and it is really beneficial for the researchers next question is related to the main aim of scientific method in the research field is to improve data interpretation confirm triangulation introduce new variables option d eliminate spurious relations so the correct answer is eliminate spurious relation is the main of the scientific method in the research field so this is how we have completed today's topic students and i hope you have really understood that and i hope you have understood what is interdisciplinary approach how does it work what are the benefits of interdisciplinary approach and i really believe when you are going to do your research work you will be happily covering all the important points which will enhance your creative thinking skills which will actually uh, motivate you to enable uh, yourself to study in a very creative manner all right students so i hope you have understood and uh, with this i i will see you in the next class till then see you take care and be safe and keep learning